that were saying they have a super team because they picked up Al Horford. <laughs> Al Horford, the most overrated player in the NBA, right alongside his used-to-be co-player in Jeff Teague. <laughs> going on guys it's Steve so there's a lot of people going around saying that the Boston Celtics are gonna destroy the New York Knicks come Christmas Day at noon I just want to say this that tomorrow Carmelo Anthony will drop 40 points Carmelo Anthony will absolutely positively annihilate Jay Crowder the Boston Celtics. It's going to be absolutely embarrassing. This is for all the people that say that the Boston Celtics are the third best team in the East. We already know that I think the New York Knicks are the second best. I don't care about records. Yeah, the Toronto Raptors have a better record. That doesn't mean they're a better team. But anyway, New York Knicks are going to dominate the Boston Celtics. My man Carmelo Anthony is going to absolutely destroy Jay Crowder. This guy's known as one of the league's best defenders, him and Avery Bradley. But there's nothing for Melo. Remember what Carmelo Anthony did to Paul George? The exact same thing is going to happen, but instead of 35 points on your head, it's going to be 45. I guarantee you guys that tomorrow at noon, Carmelo Anthony's going to drop 45 points. Chris Porzingis is going to drop 30. And Derrick Rose is going to drop 20. I guarantee it. The reason why I say this is because the New York Knicks need to make a statement. The world is going to be watching tomorrow to see how good and how far the New York Knicks have come. And I guarantee you, they will show up and they will absolutely positively destroy the Boston Celtics. How the hell are the Boston Celtics going to beat the New York Knicks? I'll bet anything. You guys want to do another bet? I'll bet anything. I guarantee you guys the New York Knicks will win tomorrow. How the, you, the, Isaiah Thomas is going to do work on Derrick? Come on. Derrick Rose locked up Paul George. Paul George is 6'7". So do you think... Actually, I think he's 6'9", actually. So do you think that Paul George, if he gets locked up, isn't Isaiah Thomas easier to lock up? Derrick Rose is going to put the locks, he's going to put the locksmith on him, put him in that locker room, lock him up, and he's never going to come back. I guarantee you, Isaiah Thomas is going to get embarrassed tomorrow. I guarantee you, Al Horford is going to get embarrassed tomorrow. Good luck trying to guard Chris Stapps Porzingis. What big on that team is going to guard Chris Stapps? Al Horford? Good luck with that overrated bum. These are the same people. And by the way, I hate the Boston Celtics. I'm sorry, but I do. These are the same people, the same people that were saying they have a super team because they picked up Al Horford. <laughs> Al Horford, the most overrated player in the NBA, right alongside his used-to-be co-player in Jeff Teague. So now Al Horford is a superstar, according to Boston Celtic fans. Isaiah Thomas is great. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. He's a great player. He actually battled with Russell Westbrook, and I, he gained even more respect for me last night. Or two nights ago. I don't remember exactly when. But that's not the, that's not the point. The point is, is that Carmelo Anthony is going to drop 40 to 45 points. I guarantee it. I guarantee that. 40 to 45 points easily. Al Horford's going to get absolutely embarrassed. This is the most overrated player in the NBA. This is the same guy that was named, you know, that, that was even in consideration for MVP. How the hell was Al Horford considered to be in, in consideration for MVP a few years ago when they had the best one of the best records in the East? Are you kidding me? Al Horford. This is, oh my god, you want to know why the Atlanta Hawks were good? Because they had good pieces. The same way, the, and take this with a grain of salt, because none of those four players that were on the Atlanta Hawks were as good as the Detroit Piston days with Chauncey Billups, my, ran, my man Richard Rip Hamilton, Ben Wallace, Tayshawn Prince, Rasheed Wallace, their entire starting lineup 
were all stars. Their entire starting lineup, Chauncey Billups, Rip Hamilton, Tayshaun Prince, Ben Wallace, and Rasheed Wallace. That's one of the most stacked teams in NBA history. They won a championship. The Atlanta Hawks are a pretty solid team. I wouldn't say they're the best team in the world, you know. Well, I'm talking about the old Atlanta Hawks. You know, they were a pretty solid team with Al Horford, Jeff Teague, Kyle Korver, Paul Millsap. But their best player was Paul Millsap. Paul Millsap is a beast. He ain't no superstar, though. He's a borderline all-star. Come on, man. For people to sit there and say the Boston Celtics are title contenders now? Oh, the Boston Celtics are going to be the third best seed in the Come on, man. Come on. I guarantee you guys, I promise you guys right now, the New York Knicks are going to absolutely destroy the Boston Celtics. It's going to be absolutely embarrassing. It's going to be embarrassing. We're going to make a statement in front of the world. We're here, and LeBron, we're coming for that crown. Because next year, when we get Chris Paul, it's over. When we get Chris Paul next year, it's a wrap. Who the hell is going to stop Chris Paul, Carmelo Anthony, and Chris Stapps Porzingis on the same team? Who the they can't even stop Carmelo Anthony now. Imagine him with help from Chris Stops and CP3. Oh, oh, my gosh. Anyway, guys, you know, just know we're coming for you guys. The league, we're coming. Boston, we're coming for you. We're going to annihilate you. I'm not sure if it's in Boston or Madison Square Garden. I don't know. That's not the point. The point is Isaiah Thomas, Al Horford, and the rest of those scrubs are going to. Well, Isaiah Thomas is not a scrub. I like Isaiah Thomas. But everyone else is going to get destroyed. It's been Steve, your number one Knicks fan. Mellow's fan, stand up. Let's get it. I'm out. Peace.